the abolitionists, all of us on the stage, I guess, are, but there are also poverty deniers in this country. There are too many poverty deniers, there are too many poverty apologists, and I want to know what it is we say tonight to the poverty deniers. I don't know how it is with all the data that's out now. People can still deny that poverty is real and is as real as it is, and yet there are poverty deniers. You see them on television, you see them in the media all the time, yeah. as if this is some sort of fantasy. I'll come back to that in a moment, but I heard you say that you had an yeah. idea of a majority. Let me just yeah. say something about that. Yeah. You can't do anything about the people that are so clueless. Uh, if, they're de if they're denying this fact, I mean, we're, we are in it, we're a big country. Um, there, that poll that said that 21% of Republicans believe that, quote, Barack Obama may be the Antichrist. Um, you know, 21% of them actually believe that. I just think we, there's nothing you can do about that. You just have to say we're a big country. There's 20 to 30 million people that are just stone cold crazy. And uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. But there's, a, there's 270 million who aren't. So let's work on that. Um, but I want to, I, I just, I wanted to... <laughs> I wanted to say why, something. You just made such an excellent point. While while some of us are trying to abolish capitalism, or if it's a more comfortable word for you, greed. That's just another word for it. While while we have to do that, you're right. The practical things right now, people who if they if they do have cable and are able to watch this, right? If so, if, if if not. It's on, not, it's, on, it's on PBS next Monday, if, Tuesday, and Wednesday. If not, we're, we're talking on free television, free public. <laughs> there, here's something we can do. Um, you asked about what, all these poverty programs, you know, and people complain about poverty. Well, here's a poverty program that everybody should get behind, no matter what your political stripe is. Jobs. Because isn't that really at the core of what Susie, everybody's been saying, that if you have a job and you're paid a decent wage, a livable wage, isn't, isn't that really the eradication of this poverty if you are paid a wage so that you're not in poverty? So how do we create these jobs? Here's what's going on right now. Corporate America, the Fortune 500, are sitting on $2 trillion of cash mm -hmm. in their bank accounts. Now, let me explain that to you. In the past, that has never happened. What corporations do when they, have, when they make money is they then spend a good chunk of that money to create more jobs. They say, oh, wow, this thing we invented is doing really well. Let's build another factory, and we can make more of that. And we'll employ more people. And, and that's how it used to kind of work. Um, now, what they're doing is, is they're making record profits and then they're putting the money in their bank account. And they're doing it in part because they, it's their rainy day fund. They know the other shoe hasn't dropped. They know the crash of 08 wasn't the last crash because they're, they're still doing credit default swaps and derivatives and all this crazy casino stuff on Wall Street. They know that another crash could happen. The credit card crash could happen. Any of a number of things could happen. And they want to they make sure that they're protected on their Noah's Ark where they've put their $2 trillion of cash. If we force them, if the Congress for, could force them Mm -hmm. to say, you have to release that money. You cannot hoard the money. If, if I live in a town in northern Michigan where it's very cold in the winter, and there's no natural gas, let's say. There's, you use heating oil to heat your home. If the heating oil company down the road was hoarding all the oil and not selling it to the people so they could heat their homes in the winter, what would the people do in that town? Rise up! Rise up! But no, wait a minute, capitalism, our, our laws say that, that if that oil company down, the heating oil company doesn't want to sell you their oil, they don't have to. Well, that's got to change. That two trillion dollars has to be, it's been taken out of circulation. That means it can't be put into wages. It has to be put back into circulation. We need a Roosevelt style jobs program right now. We need real jobs with real wages. That would do more right now to kickstart this thing and start this eradication of poverty. Let me challenge you. Oh, second. Yeah. Let, let me, let me, yeah. let me challenge you.